on the open house party. We're on the line right now with Louis Anderson. Hello, Louis. Hey, how you doing, John? Doing great. What's happening? Great. Well, I'm just uh, I'm on your show. And what else could be happening? It's the all cool, all request <laughs> open house party with Louis Anderson and John Garagugi man. You're. Well, you're... you must have taken a beating with that name when you're growing up, huh? Well, actually, no. People just called me John. Yeah. They, they didn't try the rest of it. <laughs> I want to hear the teachers. Is John Ga... Uh, <laughs> right. No, the worst part is, can you spell it? Yeah. And you get that ten times a day on the phone. Yeah, well, you know, maybe that's a key uh, hint to... Is that an Italian name? Uh, it's Armenian. Armenian. Yeah, the earthquake, remember that? Yeah. Shish kebab, pilaf, all that stuff. I sent them some shirts. They made uh, little tents out of them. <laughs> no, come on. Louie, tell me, why are most comedians heavy? They're heavy set. Because uh, they eat? <clears throat> oh, um, yeah. No, uh, because they're compulsive. I think they come from a compulsive background. Either they're one of their parents were alcoholics or there was some kind of, you know, uh, problem like that in the family, and they learn to uh, deal with it through eating and through humor. Which leads us around to you have a new book. Yes, Dear Dad. Letters from an Adult Child. Right. It's a book about my journey to try and find my dad, and but because I wasn't able to uh, experience it when he was alive, and I had to settle some things. So, you know, I got into uh, the book, and it really was a great experience for me and changed my life. You say find him. You, you, did you know him? Uh, yeah, I knew him, but, I mean, you know, there was that alcoholism that kept us apart. And uh, so what I did was I needed to settle some things, some of the anger I had and some of the resentment. And that really helped a lot, you know, writing these letters to him. And originally they were just a therapy tool, and then it turned into a book. And uh, the reason that I decided to let it be published was uh, that a lot of people's parents are still alive, and I thought that if they couldn't talk to him, maybe they could, you know, read the book and get some ideas or maybe even give the book to their dad, and it might make it a lot easier. You know, last year I interviewed Suzanne Summers, who wrote a book on the same subject as yours, and she was telling me they, they estimate like 40 or 50 million adult children of alcoholics in this country. Yeah, it's amazing. I have to tell you, it's. Uh, I don't think anything has uh, ever uh, touched America more than alcoholism, and uh, I think it's a. Uh, it's obvious because look at Reagan this week. He uh, declared that he was an adult child of an alcoholic, and I think that that's you know a sign of uh, that it can reach anywhere. So yeah, but it's like a, it's a new trendy thing that like people have just hit on and, and realized. Yeah, and then they realized that there were other people because growing up in that household, you don't. That house or that household, uh, you don't realize that you're uh, you're not alone. You think you're the only one. So it's a great experience when you find out there are other people and you feel less lonely and you know more like uh, being on the uh, all request all cool open house. Party. <laughs> what is what are some of the things that adult children of alcoholics have in common? Like what are their personalities like and stuff? Well, they usually real try they try to please people and they want uh, things to go. Well, they don't want any conflict. They don't want any fights. They they want, uh, you know, people to love them, and they want to be accepted, and they are usually, you know, a lot of times their humor, they use their humor to get by. And uh, I think a lot of uh, actors and people in show business, artists in general, have, have come from that background. Yeah. So your book now, Letters from the... What are they like? How do you write... Well, I start out, you know, the book is, starts out, you know, it talks a lot about show business and you know, how I got involved in it and how my dad's alcoholism kind of uh, created my, you know, comedy and my career. And, uh, you should send him a check. <laughs> <laughs> I give it to my mom. She handles it. Oh. You know, you take care of your mom when you're in an alcoholic family. Yeah. You know, you tend to take care of people. So I come from a family of 11 people, 11 kids in the family, so there's plenty of people. Which one were you? They're looking for a check. <laughs> <laughs> Which one were you? Uh, the rich one. No, uh, <laughs> no, really. The famous one. No, the tenth one. You, oh, so you were like watching all of them grow up and everyone get whacked around or something? Or Well, no, I was the tenth child. I was like the, one of the youngest. So I, I came, all the whacking was done when I came along. And they, <laughs> my dad was tired out, so he never beat me. You started out counseling emotionally disturbed kids, didn't you, before you became a comedian? Right, that's what I did originally in Minnesota, and then I, uh, it was a short jump from there to comedy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but how did you get to be a comedian from doing that? Well, just one night we went out and watched these comics, and I said, these guys aren't funny. And my friend said, well, if you're so funny, why don't you try it? And just as a dare, I did it the next week, you know, as a fun thing, had all my friends down, you know, made kind of a big goof out of it. What did you do? Write, write a little... Yeah, I wrote a little routine, you know, and 
And then, uh, geez, you know, I got up there and I realized that, hey, this would be a lot of fun to do on a regular basis. And from then on, that was it. Wow. I just kept doing it. And uh, the rest is, uh, you know, history. Now I'm on the all cool, all request open house party. <laughs> What do you like doing best? You've been in movies like Coming to America. You've been on Johnny Carson and Joan Rivers and all. Um, wh- what do you like doing best? Well, the fun, uh, you know, I've had, I have a lot of fun doing movies. They can be boring, but, you know, doing a movie with someone like Eddie Murphy, you really get to see, you know, that superstar and see what happens, you know, get to see the, you know, the other side of that person, which is actually a really great side, by the way. What is he like? He's just a really, really down-to-earth guy, real funny and uh, funny off. You know, camera and on, and he has a serious side that's real deep, and uh, you know, he's just a terrific person. I mean, he gets a bad rap sometimes, but God. Yeah, I always got the impression that because I've never met him or spoken to him, I, like he's he's very aloof. Since he became real famous, he's just like uh, too good for everybody. No, he's just you know, it's just overwhelming. I think to be the biggest box office draw in the world. Yeah, I think that's probably a lot of pressure. Wow. Well, so, you know, I, I he's a terrific guy. I like doing the movies. I've enjoyed this book tour that I'm on, that's been a really great experience and meeting a lot of the fans that I've only got to see from the, you know, audience. And so um, that's been really a terrific experience. And I look forward, you know, I do. I did an HBO special that'll be out January 13th. And uh, I think that'll um, be something people will enjoy. I enjoy doing that, you know, anytime you can uh, do stand-up like that. It's, it's always a lot of fun. What's in the future for Louis Anderson? What would you like to do next? Well, I'm going to take a little time off. I'm going to lose some weight, and uh, I'm going to write another book. Another one? Maybe, maybe next year I'll do a TV show. I have an offer from NBC to do a TV show. Wow. That sounds like fun. Yeah, it could be fun. About me and my dad, you know? You'll, I, be, like, you'll be like Oprah Winfrey with your new look. Yeah. No one will know you, Louis. Yeah, well, you know, Oprah. She's doing great, isn't she? Yes, she is. She's I, here right now. Oprah, <laughs> leave that food alone. Uh, I'm watching you. No, she's a really great person. She's doing great. She lost all that weight, and, uh, you know, it's uh, amazing. I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to take a little more time because I think you got to take more time with it. Yeah. Because, you know, you lose all that weight, your body gets mad and goes, all right, all right, try walking. <laughs> <laughs> the book is called Dear Dad. Louis Anderson, thanks for talking to us on Open House Party. Tonight. Thanks a lot, John. And uh, keep listening there, you guys, to the All Cool, All Request Open House Party. <laughs> because you know what? For the rest of my life, I'll never forget that. <laughs> thanks, guys. Louis, have a great night. Bye-bye. Overnight.